Hello, in this session we'll talk about angle between two curves. So let us say that in our polar coordinate system we have two curves here which will intersect at some point and let's say that point is P. So let's say the first polar curve is R equal to F1 theta, the second one is R2 equal to F2 theta. P point of intersection for the polar curve, let this be R theta. So that means the angle of OP with the initial side should be theta. Now we already know that when you are trying to find the angle of intersection between any two kinds of curve, it should be the angle between the tangent also. So that means if we draw the tangent to both the curves, let's say this is the first curve, so the tangent P1 and let this be second curve, so let's say T2. Now the angle of between the radius vector and the tangent, let's say for the first case this is phi1 and for the second case this is phi2 at the point P. So if you are looking for the angle of intersection, the angle of intersection will be actually difference between these two angles that is phi2 and phi1. So that means we can say angle between the two tangents will be equal to phi2 minus phi1 considering phi2 minus phi1 comes out to be an acute angle otherwise we can just take the mod value and that will be phi2 minus phi1 mod so this is going to be the acute angle now there are chances that these two curves come out to be perpendicular to each other so the angle between the tangent T1 and T2 comes out to be 90 degree so T1 and T2 will be perpendicular to each other so in that case phi2 minus phi1 mod value should be pi by 2 also we can say if this is so let us say that phi1 can be written or phi2 can be written as pi by 2 plus phi1 considering phi2 is like greater in this case so we know that tan of phi2 now can be written as tan of pi by 2 plus phi1 which will actually be negative of cot of phi1 and that can be written as 1 by tan of phi1 that means tan of phi1 times of tan of phi2 will be tan phi1 times of minus 1 by tan of phi1 and that will be equal to minus 1. So the product of the slope of these two curves the tangent will actually come out to be negative 1. Fine. So this is a special case where you can say that the curves are orthogonal. Now let us see the working procedure or how to find the angle of intersection for regular questions. So first of all like I said that we have got two of the curves r equal to f1 theta and r equal to f2 theta. So with this relation or with this polar curve we can actually take log on both the sides and then differentiate and differentiate with respect to theta. So that will be 1 by r d r by d theta equal to some term in theta. So let's say I am giving it as g 1 theta. Similarly 1 by r d r d theta equal to some g 2 theta. After taking log and differentiating with respect to theta. So with this if it is possible like with this we can see that this relation will be 1 by tan theta 1 by tan phi 1 
equal to g1 theta and also 1 by tan phi 2 equal to g2 theta. So if we want we can find this as cot of phi 1 equal to g1 theta and cot of phi 2 equal to g2 theta. If it is possible and if we can actually find the value of phi 1 and phi 2 explicitly then we can actually proceed and find the difference of phi 2 minus phi 1 mod value and if not then in that case if it is not possible to find phi 2 phi 1 explicitly if phi 1 phi 2 not present explicitly then what we can do is actually we can look for point of intersection of both the curves because that is the point point P where these curves are intersecting so we can say that will be f1 theta equal to f2 theta and that will help us to find the value of theta using this using this theta we can find what is tan phi 1 and tan phi 2 now the angle between the curves can be found as tan of let's say phi 2 minus phi 1 as tan of phi 2 minus tan of phi 1 over 1 plus tan phi 1 tan phi 2 let's say this phi 2 minus phi 1 is actually alpha therefore tan alpha will be tan phi 2 minus tan phi 1 by 1 plus tan phi 2 tan phi 1 and with this we can actually find as alpha as tan inverse of the given expression so this is the procedure of finding the value or the angle of intersection of the two curves so i hope this is clear thank you